<laughs> Came to tell you today, y'all. The family of God is huge. That's right. We got brothers and sisters all over the land and country. And it makes me feel so good inside that I can call on my family <laughs> anytime I need them. Yeah. But check this out. This is our family reunion song, y'all. Come on. Sing. Jesus said, You're my disciples if you love one another. Give us five minutes. Uh, we'll have you bring it out. All right. Thank you, dear. Love you, bye. I'm sorry, Brian. That's okay. Right here, it comes out about. <laughs> <laughs> no. I tell you, they, they love all. After refinishing the lobby, uh, and it looks so great, I think it was really noticeable that the end caps needed to be upgraded next. Brian and I had a conversation after Bible study about refinishing the end caps on our church pews. Uh, we were discussing how we're going to go about it, uh, how to disassemble the end caps from the pew. We uh, come to a decision that we would try to start on the back pew, the short pew, uh, so that it wouldn't disrupt as many people. So. Uh, came in Monday following the Wednesday conversation. We learned we had to take a piece of trim off to get the screws out, climb underneath the uh, pew and get the screws off the bottom of the end cap. And that was it. It was really s simple once we figured that out, how to disassemble the end cap from the pew. This is a, uh, these old cabinets, this is I don't know, $80 worth. Right. Oh, okay. okay. But I've done half the church. There's that much left in this cup. Oh, yeah. So two gallons and we're done. So by the time you put that on, which is just regular, right? That's about, what, 30 bucks? Oh, no. That's about 80 bucks. Oh, that's about 80 bucks. Yeah. Okay. This paint is about $80 a gallon. Okay, so. Oh, this is what that is. Yeah, those are all the same thing. Gotcha. So I just got so these are right. I thought that's yeah. a polyurethane. No. Kind of like paint. Okay. So that's just a real gloss. That's good. It's a gloss. That's, that's interesting. See, that's what we had to begin with. Right. And I wanted it to pop. Right, exactly. And me, sat flat, mm -hmm. I'm fine. But I wanted that to pop. That really popped, too. Yeah. It really did, because I, I thought yeah. you might have put a polyurethane on top of it. I did not, no. That's good. Yeah, so I went with gloss instead, mm -hmm. so I didn't have to go back. I don't know what kind of wood is that. Uh, I might have been that it's oak. Can you see the... Yeah, I for sure. See the green? Yeah, the green in it. Yeah. I'm thinking that's yeah, enough. That's about oak. I feel pretty good at this. That's on the telegram on that, but you can see more of the wood of that. That wide crane. You're at the... Yeah. Yeah, you're at the... Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I feel pretty much turning out so good. Now, the trick is... Quick drying. Yeah. You roll this one off. How many goes? Two. You do two. Yeah. It, 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 it looks thick, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's some good. That's good. I, I rip down and do three, and then I come back the next day. Or I come back late in the evening and flop them over. Yeah. Because I want to lay that paint inside mm -hmm. down on the wood. Right. So I want I want it toughened up. And I learned along the way to put a little white paint on my support block so that the raw wood wouldn't stick and flake up. Right. Splinter here, <laughs> splinter yeah. there. Like with this right here. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. You got the right man on it. Right? That, that's just all about a little talking and communicating. Yeah. And yeah. He starts snatching them off, man. Five boom, minutes. Boom, boom, boom. We're on the I know. Road. <laughs> when we first came to Southside, Lois had heard about Southside and suggested that we come out. She had heard of the singing, how great it was, and brought us to Southside. 
I heard about Southside from my sister. You guys have been in Winston-Salem, North Carolina at Carver Road, I think. And she met Juana. And um, she got, she knew we were looking for a church home. And she met Juana and she got Juana's number and gave it to me and I called Juana, came here, been here ever since. Been loving it. Love Brother Malone from the very first day I laid eyes on him. November 1st, working for Norfolk Southern, I go in the office 6 a.m. I'm in the office and my boss's boss calls me. You got a minute? Of course, you're my boss's boss. Uh, long story short, by 10 o'clock that morning I was home, retired. Let me tell you, retirement is great. Uh, I was on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for 27 years. And the Lord blessed me with the retirement. Now I'm able to, to come to the church and give this time and, and accomplish something. See, you be acting like you don't help. That's a big help. <laughs> We got sugar equal and sweet and low. We got this creamer. We don't have any hazelnut. I drink mine black. I bet you brother fits. Same so way. Anyway. Oh good. Well, I'll take all this stuff back out of your way then. Your husband is doing it up, Sister Lois. He is, isn't he? I like he does it. He good. He does good. I want to help him, but I'm scared if I mess him up. <laughs> you're doing fine. <laughs> you, you realize what all you're doing. <laughs> right. You don't have to come out here. <laughs> right. It's all good. Right, right. Our experience around the house with the work we're doing on the church pews uh, can best be described by my wife, Lois. <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> Our experience with the church pews has been that I come with Billy and he takes the ends off and I collect the screws <laughs> and I vacuum where he, um, I vacuum the part, you know, clean up behind him and then we take them home and he sands them down and I don't really do much at home except inspect. I'm the inspector at home pretty much when he I inspect his work at home. Lois gives final approval on each end cap. And occasionally Lois brings coffee and supports me and we're a great team. The coffee that we enjoy the most is Cafe Bustello. It's, it's strong, it's, a, it's an espresso, but it's really good. Parker, he knows his name. Parker, how's it going? Bobby, you all right. See, I'm a good boy. You all right. See, I'm just a little round. Yeah. Right, sit, sit. Sit, Barker. Sit down. Look at it. He's like, who are you telling? <laughs> <laughs> good sit. Good boy. How long you had, Barker? Five years. Really? Our dog, Barker, came to us. We were leaving the house, opened the garage door, walking Lois around to the truck, help her in, and Lo and behold, there's a little black puppy rolled over on his belly. I rubbed his belly and the rest is history. And we've had him for five years now. Nobody, we took him we all We took him over. to three different neighborhoods and couldn't find him a home. And he had a collar on. So we know that he belonged to someone. And I put it on Facebook and no one claimed him, so we did. To be a member at Southside, um, I think we as individuals to become a, a part of the body of Christ here at Southside 
we need to look around and find things that need to be done and take it upon ourselves to follow through and seeing that they are done. We all have talents, we all have skills, uh, and we can use those and just in the smallest ways be a part of the body that makes Southside what it is. A great church, a uh, scriptural church, and uh, something that I look forward to being a part of. We share each other's love as we struggle from day to day. Yes, it's good to know I can call on you to put a smile upon my face and make me laugh. Sometimes I gotta cry. That's what it's all about. Me. Uh huh. Talking about the family. Sure, I got you.